what's up guys, in this project we're building a cricket powered paddle wheel rover. This simple waterbot is 3D printed and features a tripod mount for capturing underwater photography. The rover stays afloat with the help of pool noodles that are secured to the 3D printed enclosure. We use NinjaFlex filament to 3D print watertight mounts for the motors and components. You can get a full list of parts used to build this project linked in the description of this video. Use Adafruit's make code to program your water bot to maneuver around obstacles. Use the onboard sensors to make it interactive. Start by replacing the motor connections with silicone wires to make them strong and flexible. This 3D printed housing will help prevent water from getting into the motor. These are flexible and press fit together. Check out the full tutorial for this project by heading over to the Adafruit Learning System. We used the set screw to secure the 3D printed paddle wheel to the shaft of the motor. This will prevent it from wobbling and slipping out. The brackets for housing the pool noodles are secured to the motor mounts with additional machine screws. We'll need to assemble two of these to create our rover. Our 3D printed tripod mount snap fits onto the enclosure and locks in place. You can install a threaded insert to attach camera mounts and tripods. The camera cover fits over the top of the enclosure and snaps shut. We can then secure the two brackets to the tripod mount with additional machine screws. To create our flotation device, we can measure and cut pieces from a pool noodle which we picked up from our local dollar store. These are press fitted into the retainers. Now we can thread the motor wires through the opening in the top of the cover and pull them all the way through. We can skip soldering and use this two pin wire joint to tie our wires together. We're using the drive section on the Adafruit Cricut to control our motors with the higher current. The wires are inserted into the screw block terminals with plenty of room in the enclosure for excess wires. We can secure the waterproof battery holder on top of the cover with more machine screws. This NinjaFlex gasket will keep water out of the DC jack and plugs into the side of the case. Be sure to seal any exposed wires with hot glue or electrical tape. Lastly, we can add a little bit of personality before testing it out. This little water bot can support the weight of a GoPro session and a small swivel tripod adapter. You can adjust the tripod to get different angles or secure different components like a humidity sensor or additional lighting. And although it's not completely waterproof, it is water resistant. We can confirm it will survive an accidental dip in the water. Well, thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more 3D printed projects from Adafruit.